Hey guys, today I'm attempting to make a blouse using the new look pattern for one of my friends. So these are the pattern pieces. So I follow the instruction based on the pattern, it says stay stitch, the neck edge and then after that gather. So there's actually an image that helps me to better understand how to do this part. So I did exactly like what they said and cut the notches and everything. Just like the second instruction, I followed the method, it says stay stitch the front inset. So in this video, I'm actually doing a stay stitch. Then I pin the front inset to the right border pieces and leave about 10 to 12 inches and sew it down. Then I pin the split opening which is from the neckline all the way down to the place whereby I start to sew the pieces together. It will look something like this and sew it according to where I'm pointing in the video and then we can move on to the next step. Then I lay the front piece flat in order for me to attach the lace at the split opening. Once you have finished pinning, you can start to sew the lace on the inset. Then pin around the inset which has not been sewed to the front border pieces so that this front inset and the front border pieces will become a one piece for the front part.
after stay stitching the neckline for the back piece then pin the back piece to the front piece together and saw the the shoulder area and the side seams So based on the instruction, now we are making the neck binding. So the first part is to sew the neck band to the neckline and then there will be left of a neck band which will be used to tie a string in front of the blouse. So what I'm sewing in this video is the left over neck band that's not touching the neckline. So right sides together, so a straight stitch down and then use a loop turner to turn the neck binding inside out. As for me, I do not have any neck bind. I'm sorry. I mean, I do not have any loop turner so I actually use the chopstick and straw method which you can actually see from my previous video when I was doing the drawstring bag. Then fold in the neck band to make it look like a neck binding to hide the raw edges. So according to instruction, to make some ruffles is you gather the lower part of the sleeve and then attach it to the top of the sleeve and then you get something like from, from my video. Then once you are done with that part, you can start to attach the lace according to where the ruffles part is. Once you have finished pinning, you can sew on the lace using the sewing machine. Then fold the sleeve into half right sides together and sew down the side seams. Then once you are done with that, you can attach the sleeve to the armhole and then you are almost done with this blouse. The reason why I said you are almost done is because do not forget to hem all the raw edges at the sleeve area and also the bottom part of the blouse and then you are done.